sector is clear. Give us everything we got! Up Why can regular stormtroopers block the lightsaber? Please explain in the comment section. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another review. Before we get started, be sure you hit that subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Let's go! Hey Star Wars fans, would you like to play an epic Star Wars story with great character development, open world exploration, and force abilities such as force lightning, force choke, and be able to propel yourself through space like Princess Leia? Then this game is not for you! Before we dig deep, I love the Star Wars franchise, and in no way am I a hater, but I hate this game. I've seen a lot of other reviewers giving this game really good reviews, which confuses me. When do we start giving 8 and 9 out of 10 to bare minimum games? Let me know down in the comments. I think we need to remove the nostalgia glasses and really look at it for what it is. These are strictly my opinions, but here we go. This game has almost everything you can expect from a Star Wars game. Lightsabers, lasers, force powers, spaceships, but that's just the basics. The problem with this game is that they don't try to push the boundaries. Everything that's here has been done before, especially the collectibles, which as you play the game you'll be looking out for in chests as you explore the level, which will give you access to ponchos, starship skins, lightsaber components, which will all allow you minimal customization. You will eventually unlock dual lightsaber, but I found this style to be useless and weaker than the single lightsaber. If you pre-order the game, you'll get early access to one lightsaber color, otherwise you won't be able to change the colors until mid to end of the game. Which, in my opinion, kind of sucks, because this game, if you actually go through it all, there's no replay value, there's no reason to go back. It's just a one playthrough. You'll be able to customize your lightsaber through your emitter, your switch, your sleeve, and your material, and of course the color. But all these are just cosmetic. They don't give any perks, they don't change the way the lightsaber looks, or reacts, or anything. No NPCs react to the lightsaber, so you're basically just, you know, showing off for yourself. So I kind of find that just, eh. The controls feel sketchy, the jumping's off, there'll be a lot of climbing in this game. And when I mean a lot of climbing, I mean a lot of climbing. Like Prince of Persia levels of climbing, but not as good, or as fun. Just a more of wall running and just kind of climbing and scaling the sides of cliffs. And the biggest problem I have with that is a lot of the times, the climbing doesn't even work. Let me show you. So here we have a wall I'm clearly supposed to climb. Now, as you can see, the game can't tell the character to grab the ledge. Now this was the only clip I saved because it was too much to go through and too much to come back to. But this happened at least 70% of my gameplay is me trying to grab ledges that the character won't grab. Okay? Fix it! In the background you can see a ship. That's your ship. And you can customize that ship. And when I say customize, I mean you can paint it. Yeah, that's right. You can paint it. Reskin. All day. Every day. Look any way you want. Gold, blue and purple, blue and orange, green and purple. You know. Paint jobs on your spaceship. That uh by the way. You never use. There are zero spaceship battles in this game. You will not fly the ship. You will only ride it to your destination. Which is about five planets that are easily explored in almost a straight line. But maybe some up and down. Maybe some deep levels and some little dead ends and little loot turns. But there's not a lot of... Not a lot to go here. Okay? Not a... Not a effort put into the old uh, mappage per se. <clears throat> the environments in this game are good, the graphics are good, you know, all that's beautiful. But you can only gold plate a turd so much. Like it's still a turd. Like it's, it's, it's a turd. It's, it, it's a turd. Alright? Paint the turd all you want. It's still a turd. The load screens in this game? Atrocious. Super atrocious. Skyrim levels of atrocious. I had to speed through it through the cut. I'll let you see it. Here it is. Right here. It's still going. Still going. Still going. Still going. Yep. See? Thanks. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, right here, you're gonna see probably one of my favorite parts of the game. A little spoiler alert. Something going down right here. Let's watch it. Oh, yeah, don't play the lightsaber, as I said before, yeah, that's cool, but it sucks, the single lightsaber is better, now, I give them props with the voice acting in the alien, and the graphics on the facial looks, well, I'll take that back, hers is a little, uh, hers is pushing boundaries on the uh, eyeballs right there, but I'm gonna let you guys experience this little clip right here and I want you to tell me what you think of the facial animations and voice acting. Okay? Do that for me. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to make you more confident. So, how are you holding up? Holding with the force? Yes, with the force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, I understand. More than you realize. Why'd you choose to stop using the force? When the purge started, when our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several young ones and went into hiding. We didn't last long. The Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the young ones. They caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova. That's right. You heard her. Cordova. Now you felt you can feel the emotion in the character voices, but with her eyes staring into my soul, I couldn't exactly pay attention right there. Now, when you explore the levels, you'll see these maps. Now the maps, I know they don't look like a straight line, but in a way they are. It's all linear. It's all a guided path with a few alt shoot other paths. A couple secret bosses in different levels that you have to learn skills or get other, you know, remember your Jedi powers to come back and explore again. That's, I guess they wanted to make that the replay value, but since all you're getting is cosmetic skins and a few parts for your lightsaber that don't actually change much besides the way it looks, I mean, what's the point? You spend most of your time climbing so much that I had to speed through that clip. Now, as we get here, we'll see the little green arrows on the map. Those map that means that it's accessible to go to that area, right? That yellow thing is where you need to go. So you have to find your path through jumps and platforms and climbing over stuff and sliding down hills just to get to what you could see was on the other side of something. They'll also be able to explore multiple planets. You know, Kashyyyk, Damir, all these other planets. About five, really. Some of them are actually a lot smaller and shorter than others. The just map just makes them longer because of the way it's blocked off by needing abilities or a double jump or force pull versus force push or something you need to come back to, which drove me insane. Like, there's so much backtracking in this game. I just want an open world Star Wars game, right? Now, it doesn't have to be ridiculous every world, but enough to enjoy it and get through it and, you know, go around, you know, maybe a little co-op, you know, just 
You know, having fun with it, you know, get jiggy with it. Come on now, we can do better than this. This ain't nothing. Now your skills. You'll be able to upgrade your skill tree as you level up. Which is basically just basic Jedi maneuvers that you should already know, but you have forgotten because you haven't done it in so long. So now you're trying to regain them back. I'm gonna leave that. I I mean, I don't know how to describe it anymore. The tree like the the Dark Souls trees are better than this. This is this is just basic moves and abilities. Which is some should have just been like you can't forget how to thrust a, a lightsaber forward. I, I don't understand how you mentally block that. I'm gonna leave this game with a six out of ten and a note of how boring it is from itself. <laughs> <laughs>